Select a DNA forensic property marking kits, mark all types of cars with a unique forensic code that is proven to deter theft. Shake the bottle for at least 15 seconds in order to mix up all of the micro dots within the fluid. So taking the DNA compound with the micro dots in with the unique reference on, get as many micro dots as you can on the applicator, at least two, and then put them into the crevices. The crevices where it's easy to get with the applicator but hard to remove by any would-be criminals. This can be applied up to 50 times. Taking one stencil at a time, applying it to the glass area, making sure it's clean and free from dirt, nice and dry. Move the backing from the stencil by to the window, nice and straight, making sure all the air comes out from behind the stencil. Using the back of the stencil that you've just removed, press down firmly onto the glass area. The compound is a purple in colour and making sure all of that compound goes into all of the holes on the stencil. Be very careful you don't go beyond the stencil because that will mark the glass in other areas where you don't want it to. Using a dry cloth, just remove the excess from the stencil, making sure not to go beyond the sides of the stencil itself. Gently pull up the stencil, just pulling off gently, you'll see the etching in the glass. And just with a, a, a wet or damp cloth, just wipe the stencil. It'll look as though I've wiped it away totally, and then as it dries, you'll see it's etched onto the glass. The Tessa label contains a unique ID number that refers to the kit being placed on the vehicle. And we suggest you place it near to the VIN sticker as possible, as straight as possible. When applying, press down, make sure all the air comes out from beneath so it's firmly applied. So these are the warning labels applied to the inside of the glass. They're to deter any would-be thieves who may be attracted to the vehicle. Selector DNA is supported by Crime Stoppers.